They have a man in motion going the opposite way, hoping to get rotation by the backs. Good blocking up front by that Houston offensive line. Do not grab him by the with hands. You got to put a shoulder pad into number 34. He's not going out. Finally coming out, Mike Hayes making the final hit, knocking him out of bounds. He matched his numbers again of 34 yards on the play for Earl Campbell. First down, Houston, 18 yard line. Campbell. Back. After in motion. Campbell. He's got it. He's got it. Right in the corner, Earl Campbell. Foundation of great stars. Ball going to come late to find pitch. Second and 15. Steelers threaten the blitz and then pull out of it. Earl Campbell gets the call and goes out to the point. Carpenter needing Campbell. Campbell, let's boom. 227 pounds, and can he accelerate? He gets down close to the two-yard line. He's just a remarkable athlete to watch. And he had 26 yards gained going into this play. So he's added notably to it. Good block by 76, Morris Towns and Conway Heyman to make it happen. There it is again, and just acceleration and good strength. 78, 76. On third down, Campbell... They're saying he got it in the end zone. He broke the plane, touchdown Houston. The hopes of a division champion chip drops out the window that there are the two wild card spots. The handoff, Earl Campbell, and Earl Campbell has a first down. Beat Cincinnati on the final day of the season. Touchdown, Earl Campbell, his second of the night. Greg Sampson spearheading it, and Mike Barber, the tight end blocking. They gave him that crack, he found it. And he just accelerates, maybe not with the incredible speed of an O.J. Simpson in his earlier years, but by Pastorini. Campbell, and he finds it opening and turns it on. Look out. Gets away from Wagner, and finally Shell makes the save at the 22-yard line. And have you ever seen a man? Oh, he's beautiful. Maybe with the exception of Jimmy Brown. I don't think I've seen one at 230 pounds that can do what he does. Agility and speed. Mike Wagner's... Still down for the Steelers, but look at this. That is a big man with that kind of a move. I'll tell you, Mike Wagner was down, and Lauren Taves was slow getting up and is limping back to his position. There's Caster in motion. Campbell. The hands go up. Touchdown. Campbell's third of the night. Look at that hole open. That's Earl Campbell, and he's got it, but he limped off the field, and Earl Campbell replaces him. Campbell and Carpenter. There goes Campbell. Ooh, that's Earl Campbell. Like a wild bull. They're ahead of this game, three to nothing. Nine minutes to play in the first half. And punching out to the 10-yard line is Earl Campbell. The Dodgers and Yankees are very evenly matched up. Third and two. Coming through is Campbell to the 30. Look at him break tackle. Ooh. First down. Man, you know how tough it is. You're really putting the burden on those on your wide receiver. Just underway in case you just joined us. Campbell gets the call right side and just pulls over Steelers. They had it a hole close. And Campbell gets out close to a five-yard pickup. It'll be six. Campbell. And Dennis Winston takes Campbell out of bounds. At the four, Tim Wilson, 45. Campbell gets the call, breaks the tackle. And Earl Campbell at his finest. Inside. And a big hole, Earl Campbell blows through it. First down, close to many here in the third quarter. Campbell peers out to the left. That's what he does. He has <laughs> super oh, speed. Oh, oh, oh. Time a week ago, Earl Campbell. Single setback, the logical candidate. Campbell has the first down. Gets into Dolphin territory. Going out on the wing left. Send the man in motion and they give to Campbell. And Campbell all the way out to the 42-yard line. Caster going in motion, the handoff to Earl Campbell over the 30-yard line for special teams duty. Handoff goes to Earl Campbell at the 40, 45. 
Campbell for the first time, really. Caster going in motion, the handoff to Earl Campbell, and Earl is down to the seven yard First line. The goal at the eight. Pitch back to Earl Campbell. And that's it. Touchdown, Houston. Campbell. The championship series on NBC. On second and seven, Earl Campbell. Campbell's had some sec success Campbell behind the quarterback. Carpenter in there in motion, and look at Art. Look at that, Earl Campbell. Campbell, I think, gets the first down on the line of Cincinnati. Pitch back coming to Earl Campbell. Campbell getting down near the 37 yard line. Campbell again, breaking away down near the 30 yard line. Booming out of there is Earl Campbell. <laughs> Earl Campbell, outside he goes. Great running by Campbell. Got it. Campbell cutting through, out over the 30, out to the 32 and a first down. Same formation they had before, they give it to Campbell. Campbell at the 30, 25, 20. That's the same play they ran. Third down, a lesson to Campbell, first down and more, 50, 40, 30, 20, touchdown, Houston. Six right there gets it started with a fine block on D.D. Lewis. Ed Fisher, number 60, comes out, shields Bob Brunick, 53, and from there on out, it's all Earl Campbell, and he just fires those big thighs of his down the field. What a tremendous touchdown. Tight formation. Wilson in motion, and Campbell sweeping left. Oh, what running by Campbell to the 30-yard. That should be the game of the week. Earl Campbell, big hole, and he's gone to the races again. Double wing, Campbell the only man behind Pastorini, and he gets the ball and has the speed but cannot run Kyle, who finally drags him down. Double win down. First down at the 40, Campbell again. He's got five, he's got eight more yards. Trail Houston today, 23-21. Campbell, cutting back inside, Ooh. carrying tacklers to the 44. Well, the offensive caliber of play today has been superb. Campbell. Oh, he had a head of steam. Oh, oh, oh. That is a punishing run, not a punishing pass. A minute 33 left. Pastorini only needs to fall on the ball, but he gives to Earl Campbell instead. And Campbell stretching for a first down out to the 31-yard line. And it's all over. He's scoreless. First down for the order. Earl Campbell. Another first down for the order. George, they're running right through the middle of that Tampa Bay defense. First down, Oilers. Tampa Bay 31. Campbell trying to get by. Cut down inside the 30 at about Tampa Bay 11 yard line. As the snake calls the signals. It's Campbell again. Hard running inside. Well, he just rushed aside one of those defensive linemen with a big shoulder. Five. The tailback Earl Campbell breaking it big. Out close. So far, Earl Campbell, 35 yards rushing, eight carries, second and one. Campbell got it again. Oh, he's running hard today. Johnson to the right side. It is Campbell. Big block from Wilson, a good block. Penalty marker down. Campbell is inside the 10-yard line, the two-yard line. Renfro is into the game, wide to the right. Campbell on a draw. Earl Campbell to about the 26-yard line before his own setback is Campbell. Wilson in motion to the right. Campbell cutting back against the frame, 35, 30, runs over a man, but the man hangs on. Mike Washington made a superb mission with Wilson on the right wing, but this time he's going in motion to the other side. And Campbell shoots it right up inside. That's where we stand, 13-7, Houston. Again, the double tight end alignment for the Oilers, and Earl Campbell comes off the left side at the 30, 33-yard line. He turned following the blocking of the, on both sides. World Series, fifth inning. The Phillies lead Kansas City 2-1. to one. Now it is Campbell slamming through at the 20 to the 15, down to the 12. Earl Campbell wrestled down, bulldog down by Cotney, but Campbell came through that hole, Coach, with a full head of steam. That's, that's power football. 
just am blocking, man for man blocking, lowering the boom. The 34, Cedric Brown came up, tried to cut him down. Houston, I'm sorry, second and eight, Houston, from its own 16 yard. Campbell, the second back through, on his own. Look at that. Wow. The Oilers continue to run a two tight end offense. And here comes Earl Campbell. Hurdles the line of scrimmage. Cut down. At about the 33-yard line by Central. High formation, Wilson and Campbell. This is the big gun. Earl Campbell. 45, midfield. Look at that man run. He has three and a half minutes to go in the game. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. It is Stabler to Campbell. And he breaks to the question. 40, 45 to the 47, 48-yard line. All right, second down and nine for Houston from its 48-yard line. The toss to Campbell. 50. People to the 44. Down and two. At the Tampa 45, it is Campbell. First down. He could take it all the way. 30, 25, 17 yard line. Wow. From the 45 to the 17, a 28 yard run for Earl Campbell on third and two. Now, now he broke outside. Now watch this tackle by Jordan. Jordan makes a nice play here. 25. Trips him up as he tried to cut back. I said they lost four in a row. They had a tie in there with Green Bay. He has only 14 yards thus far, however. Here he comes. To the 30 and dragged down at the 31, the 32-yard line. 12. Campbell off the left side, trying to get outside. When he's really dangerous in a short yardage situation. 22 yard line. They've really had a long ways to go. Trailing nine to seven, second and five. Campbell, daylight, ran right through a tackle all the way to the 29 yard line. How big will your eyes dilate? We might ask Steve Foley, number 43, who finds himself facing number 34, Earl Campbell. Campbell runs right over the top of him, slowed him down enough for Larry Evans, number right. eight. Third and three at the 15. That's Coleman in motion. Campbell all the way to the nine-yard line and a first down. Earl Campbell. They've got a good view of this from the nine. It's Campbell. Touchdown. Into your living room. Here he comes. Tim Wilson blocking. Campbell cutting back against the grain. Accelerates and just blows through that Denver defense. He's Two. Only Campbell behind Stabler. There's the Tyler Rose. And he carries a gang of orange all the way to the 27. Campbell. First down at the 31-yard line. Earl Campbell running right over a Bronco who is yet to get up. Has 11 more yards and now has 146 yards today. You want to get inside Earl Campbell's head, look into his eyes there, and watch him just level. I believe it's Steve Foley. He just ran right over the top of Foley. Foley bouncing off of the thick thighs and hips of Campbell and is still on the ground. And Earl wasn't stopped until he had gained that first down. And as we. giving it off to Campbell and Campbell out to the 44 yard line Along with Campbell and Wilson Carpenter on the wing and here comes Earl Campbell and touchdown Houston well they used up a lot of time Estes Hood is not in there now either at corner Mark Lee has taken his place as the handoff the Oilers from their own 12 yard line Campbell gets the call he's out to the 20 still going Close to a first down at the sounds of the NFL coming to you from Green Bay, and that is Campbell once more Campbell from the 34-yard line. And there he goes again. He is controlling the game right now. 4.8 per carry today. There he goes again. Another first down, and all the way inside the 30-yard line. Boy, is this guy a franchise or not? getting when he gave up a couple draft choices to Tampa Bay to get the rights to draft Earl Campbell because he certainly is a franchise in himself. 
Look at the balance that he has also. The leg strength, the balance, the size, the compactness. There's just not enough things that can be said about him. On the day. There's Campbell on a little draw and close to a first down at the 44-yard line. And off to Campbell over the 50 and down to the 47-yard line and a little <laughs> second down and four at the 38. Campbell again. <laughs> Bone-jarring run inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Johnny Gray on the tackle, another first down. How do you stop this guy? I don't know, but I'll tell you, I admire Johnny Gray for coming up there and trying. Because Johnny Gray is well outweighed, and Earl Campbell's got a run and start. You can see the shot that Johnny Gray takes. But that's one. Here we go again. To the outside, to the 20, the 15, at the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Campbell! He made that look so easy. He stepped Fantastic back. here. Earl Campbell's had a series of small injuries, and to a back as powerful as he is, they're nagging injuries. He's had a thigh pull and a groin pull. And look at this move right here, just stepping right around Johnny Gray and stepping in the end zone. You can see him right here as he goes down. And he is hurting, but what a competitor. 467 yards of total offense, but only scored 20 points. Stabler gives it Campbell. Good running room up the middle. The six-yard line. Again, to give the Campbell left side. He's got the first down and more. Finally, Jim Wilson, the fullback. Campbell, the setback. Cut back against the brain. Big yardage across into Cincinnati. Campbell again behind Wilson. First down, twisting, turning. Finally, second down and five for Houston. To give again to Campbell. A lot of room right up the middle. Bobby in the 47-yard line of Houston. Give again to Campbell. He squirts through into Cincinnati territory, down to the 40-yard line. Dick Jerome, any people. First and 10, give us the Campbell. There he gains some yardage at first down. He breaks it. He could be gone. Only Ray Griffin the beat. Griffin catches up to him, but not in time. Sensational run by Earl Campbell, assisted by a block by Mike Renfro. Listen to the crowd. Watch the blocking of Leon Gray and Bobby Young. And I'd take those two guys to dinner if I was Earl Campbell. He's the one that opened it up. And again, that low center of gravity causes him to break tackles. And again, people don't remember that Earl Campbell is very swift. He's quick. Ray Griffin is no slowpoke. Look at he gets a stiff arm in the face and Campbell's KFC. Renfro, motion right. Two tight end offense. Give us the Campbell. There he goes. Knocked out of bounds inside Cincinnati territory, 34-yard line. Got the Oilers on the move. Give the Campbell again. He had the safety blitz on. That was 47, Greg Bright. Again, I formation, two tight ends. Give the Campbell a second down. He's got running room. Beats Ken Riley. He's got the first down, and Reggie Williams. If Earl Campbell gets 200 yards, it'll be only the second man in NFL history that back-to-back -back 200 yards. The other guy, O.J. He's got the touchdown. From three yards out, Earl Campbell. 202 yards. Run over the left side with the big guys. Nobody even touched him, Mike. And there's nothing Cincinnati can do to stop it. They know he's going... Wilson, 45. Campbell, 34. Those are your setbacks. Here comes Campbell. Look out. Campbell pulling ahead to the 32-yard line for both clubs. First and goal. Carpenter. And here comes Campbell. Uh -huh. And the big express is in the end zone. Well, he was a quick explosion to the right side of the line. You see the flow go to the left. Moving him on out into the outside. And right through the middle he goes. That's Mars Towns to the 76. That's a bunch. Second and 11. That time remaining here in the first half. And Campbell just hammering away out over the 25 to the 27. Campbell again, right side. How do you like that? You talk about doing it on your own. You in Cincinnati yesterday. Third down three. Ronnie Coleman in motion. Campbell just pulling ahead. Coming close to a first down. Steve Nelson hitting first and just... Well, <laughs> every time I see it, it's hard to believe. Now's the time. <laughs> Look out. Campbell stays on his feet, scrambles, and 
hustles all the way out to the 41-yard line. Second down, six. Campbell. Look at this. <laughs> first down, Campbell on his first holding call of the night. First down and 20. Campbell sprinting with that great speed to the outside. Oh. And rolling back to the original line of support. truly appreciate this. You see the lead block, of course, again, is Wilson comes to the outside. Hey, Earl said, I, I'm going to go into the inside. I see a better hole. He made one quick move, came to the inside, and got it. Willing to capitulate. Here comes Campbell. And Campbell finds an opening, and Campbell, and Hill is not playing in poorly. Campbell again. to the turf. Rick Smith was, Rick Sanford was there first, but Campbell gets the first down. On third and short, naturally, Campbell regains his balance. Uh, gets yeah. the first down at the 40-yard line. Campbell here, let's see if he'll run it. He gives it to Campbell. He gets the first down, and Campbell <laughs> carrying Tom Garden inside the 15 to the 17. First down, Houston. They have three backs in now as Wilson comes back in with Carpenter and Campbell. Third down, less than two. Campbell on his own. Look at this. <laughs> Gets the first down or very close to it. And what a superb effort. Well, it's down seven to three here in the third quarter. Campbell. Look out. Campbell trying to get back inside to get into the end zone, but he's level at the 10. Houston. Kansas City will be here for the Cleveland Browns. Campbell just exploding through the middle of that line. And look at him. Does anyone accelerate like this? It, I don't think anyone has come along with the size and the speed that Earl has. You see, he didn't really make much variance that time. He says, Tom Darton, there you are. And I, you're in my way, so I've got to go ahead and run over here. Second down and four. They mark it at the 41. Campbell again. Fine Wilson. Wilson with another fine block. And Campbell steps out of bounds, but not until he picks up the first down. Goes to the 48-yard line. We just Backs, and that's Renfro in motion. Stabler on the draw to Campbell. Campbell leading a big yards up the middle into Kansas City territory to the 47 at 60%. Second down call. Campbell again. First down. Campbell up the middle, down to the 40, down to the 38. Manu Maliuna, number 54, and Art still 67. Campbell, Wilson in front of him, plays the block. Look at him shoot through that little gap. Down to the 26-yard line. Mike Barber, 86, the tight end. 135 or did going into this ball game to establish an all-time Houston rushing record. Here's Campbell again. And once more, Carl Mock, the center. And Bob Young open up the hole, and Gary Spaney brings him down. First down at the 47. Stabler to Campbell. He sees enough daylight to go to the 48-yard line. Barber and Castor are in now. Double tight end. Full house backfield now. In motion goes Carpenter. And Campbell heading for the corner, and he's got it at the flag. Touchdown, Earl Campbell. And now he is behind by four. Jeff Groth, 81, is in as a wide receiver. Campbell, and leading the blocking, Wilson. As Campbell rolls, Campbell to the 40. Earl Campbell to the 42 before Thomas Howard, 52, the linebacker. The right. Renfro in the slot. Campbell again. Campbell cuts inside, running low to the turf, and he might have the first down at the 35. Campbell tagged at the line of scrimmage on the 45-yard line. The guards, Leon Gray, Morris Towns, the tackle. Carpenter is in the backfield on second down. Campbell running hard. He's got a first down to the 42-yard line. Gary Barbaro, the free safety, and Christian in the fourth quarter. Kansas City scoring twice in the third. Kansas City Territory, Campbell again, sweep is on. Campbell, look at him go inside the 35 to the 33, and he is finally brought down by... Campbell, out across the 15-yard line to the 60. Who's going to get the ball? First down and then some as Campbell breaks it to the 40. 
And out to the 45-yard line. Oilers back at their 34-yard line. Again to Campbell, 35, 40, 45, 50. Got it all back. And then some as he takes it to midfield with the ball. First and 10, back up to their five-yard line. Campbell, who's had a good rest, picks up a first down. He just destroys people as he moves up the middle, out across the 15. Four minutes left in the first half. Campbell, 45, bounces off a tackle. 40, 35, what a run. Both fine tight ends, but you have Winslow at San Diego with the other one. Another blitz, and they give it to Campbell, and Campbell has the first down. He's loose at the 35, 40, 50, 45. Campbell with a 35. it uh, off the draw play right here. He looks for daylight, finds it inside. Missed uh, tackle by Hannon, who was blitzing. He gets to the outside. And Renfro, and Renfro, number 82, made that uh, that block. He skirts down the sideline. Five from the 34. Campbell inside the 30. Down to the 27. That's another first down. Second down, six. On the delay, Campbell inside the 20. First and ten from the 40. Campbell. Out across the 45 to the 47-yard line. He may be going overtime. Second and three. Campbell for the first down. Rips his way into Viking territory to the 47-yard line. It is second and nine from the 14. On the delay. Draw. Campbell. Oh. To the 10. Campbell fights his way to the five and out of bounds. Inside the five. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Full house backfield, Campbell! Here's the touchdown right here. It's off tackle. It's kind of a, a delayed play with Wilson leading. You got a back going the other way. Campbell breaks to the left and uh, has no problem. Here's Wilson, number 45. Watch him. He's uh, on, on our right here, and he has the lead block. Blocks McNeil, and there's no... Snake goes to the run, and Earl Campbell, he'll break the long one. If he can get through that first line, he did, but the Bears came up, made the stop at the Billy Sims with 128 yards. Today is over 1,000 for the season. Here goes Campbell. Look out. First down inside the 50. And he takes people with him right down to the 40-yard line. So off the center is really a good one. Here's a handoff. They go the other way. Look at him. <laughs> Doug Plank hits him. But you pay Mike Renfro on the right flank for Houston. Staber goes to Earl it again right up the middle and takes it ahead for 12 or 13 yards, 285. On second down and six, they go to the draw. Look at Earl Campbell rip it up the middle. And Campbell, who had only 254 yards, so now the Oilers have first down, 38-yard line. They go right back to Campbell, and Earl Campbell takes it down to the 30-yard line. Chapter 5, helicopter of WMAQ looks on from on high. They go to Earl Campbell to the Houston Oilers. And this time, the Earl of Tyler takes it out across the 25 to the 27-yard foot for Houston. They go to the run, they go to Campbell, first down and more. As Earl Campbell takes it across the 30, out to the 33. He has strong legs more than an upper body. Need a both, I think. Here is Campbell coming ahead on first down to the 40, and then a penalty marker goes down if the Wilson goes in. Pitch back to Campbell, turning in the corner. And Campbell, who has great speed to go with his great strength, Gets very close to a first. Houston 10-6 leader with four new downs. Pitch back goes to Campbell all day long. Earl Campbell crashing ahead. Look at him drive on first down. He gets eight. Down to the 48-yard line of Chicago. FC Central. Stabler gives off to Campbell. And Earl Campbell takes it in. Look at Earl Campbell. He broke it. Earl Campbell is down inside the 10. And finally, Schmidt gets him down to the four-yard line. He's only great. I guess it's too bad he hasn't caught a pass, huh? <laughs> I mean, if a man can do everything for a team, you've got to say this man's as important to his group as any one man has ever been to, to any group. Boy, he's so This week and have the rough one against the Miami Dolphins. Stabler puts it up. This is Campbell. Earl Campbell making his way for a first down and some more. Marvin, they're doing just what they've been trying to do. In overtime, a game in the center of much controversy. Earl Campbell. Able to drive his way across midfield. Just what we talked about. Here. With a gambling figure and wants to do well here today. Earl Campbell with another Houston first down.
Taylor say he got in. It looked like the Jets had stopped him. It is a touchdown. Again, poor tackling. Tim Wilson and Earl Campbell now in the backfield. Campbell follows Wilson and gets outside. Watch him turn the corner here. You wouldn't think a man that big would be that fast. Look at him. If he hadn't have stumbled right there, he may have gone 80 yards. And number 47, Jerry Holmes. Three more interceptions. Third and seven. Campbell slamming to the 45-yard line. And a first down. We welcome those of you who have watched the upset. Kansas City beating Pittsburgh 37-33. Houston's ball. 38-yard return out to the Houston 44. Stabler to Campbell. 45. Oh, just running through Rams to the 45 of Los Angeles. Earl Campbell. Should be the last play unless there's a penalty of this first half. Little screen to Campbell. 45, 50, 40. And finally, shirt tailed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. A flag is down. First down to the 37 of Los Angeles. Even as talented as Nolan Cromwell is, to be all alone with Earl Campbell. And I don't blame him for just grabbing and hanging on. You see it right here. He just hooks up and becomes an anchor. Pulls into the ground. Second and six. Campbell with some running room. Johnny Johnson saved the touchdown this time. That's again and that'll be a first down run across the 35 to the 30 long ways to go 23 yards here's Earl Campbell a flag on the play Campbell breaks it out across the 20 he's back to about the original line of scrimmage second and goal from the one Campbell and he's in touchdown in the AFC Central from the 35-yard line, Earl Campbell. Campbell, first down, 50. He's to the 47-yard line. He ran through the arms of rookie Jackson. Stabler has him at the line of scrimmage. To Earl Campbell, and Campbell will take it in. Earl Campbell. First down. Second down, seven. That's Campbell. The 35. Earl Campbell alone running back. Earl will have the first down and more. He breaks down to about the 25. Well, it's a different kind of fraternity. <laughs> Outside Campbell. formation this is the formation that he runs the best from starts to the right he cuts back and now he sees that end zone he makes a little move there he's not going to be denied now the ball right there has to cross the plane we'll see it here let's see if it does once it breaks the plane it's a touchdown Ken Johnson is the man who hits him right at the goal line three tight end arrangement and Larry Hardy goes in motion 
Campbell. First down. Bust through into Viking territory. Good gainer. The ice box, they call him. Tice is in motion, and here is Campbell again. And Campbell to the 41 yard line. Wayne Wilson blocks for Earl Campbell, who has another first down inside the 25, actually down to the 21 yard line. Goes to Campbell. Campbell is in for the touchdown. That's his first touchdown in the uniform of the New Orleans Saints and for Earl. Ball at the 36 yard line. Campbell. First down for Earl Campbell. Bobby Abair. Earl Campbell is having his best game as a Saint. Close to first down of that lead. Campbell. First down inside the 35. Earl Campbell going over 100 yards. Almost broke one for a real good yardage. Joey. Campbell cuts off to the right side. To the third. Earl Campbell. Campbell close to a first down at the 41-yard line.